Got the wind much here. To explain this project, this is what's called an auger bore. They're putting this, might be like 36 inch casing across the interstate. I think this is I-70 right here. We're just west of Indianapolis on I-70, putting this 36 inch casing across the interstate. You can't trench across the interstate. So again, Midwest Mole, they shoot a lot of bores across interstates, very, very common. There's some road work going on here, so I don't know if this is drainage or I don't know what it's for. I didn't get that information. The way an auger bore works is you have your, your bore pit, which is the side we're on right now, and the reception pit. They set it all up so the auger bore machine is on tracks, and it's basically this giant motor that spins an auger. So they set the tracks up, they shoot a pilot bore across with a much smaller diameter pipe to make sure they get it exactly where it needs to go. They'll take that out and then they'll use the auger bore machine, use the casing. And what happens is once it's all set up, the auger machine pushes against a big concrete block they pour right behind the pit, pushes the casing underneath the interstate. As it pushes and advances the casing, the auger inside is spinning, removing the material in front of the casing, which makes it advance quite easily. I think these are probably look like 10, 12 foot sections. They'll use these sections, they'll advance 10 or 12 feet, and then the excavator will pick another one up with the auger inside of it. You can see the augers behind me, put it on there, and then they weld it all the way around, make sure it's nice and level, advance it, and keep next section, next section, next section, next section, until they're done, all the materials out, it's advanced all the way across the interstate, and then they pull the auger all the way back out of it and you have your casing. And you can put whatever you need to go into that casing. You can put drainage pipe, you can put water pipe, sewer pipe, whatever you need through that casing underneath the interstate. Uh, another one of my very poor explanations on how auger boring works. Maybe some of the footage will help. Does that make sense to you? Do you yeah, get it? I understand. I guess you kind of need to see it to understand it totally, yeah. but it's not all that complicated. Yeah, apparently we did a thousand dollars of damage on a rental car. First they said they, we didn't return it. We definitely returned it. And then they said, you owe us a thousand dollars, whether you're at fault for the damage or not. done some questionable things in rental cars, but that was one that we took pretty good care of. So we visited two jobs today. One of them, they were digging a big old reception pit. The other one, they were doing some auger boring across the interstate. We went to a third one, horizontal directional drill project, but there wasn't too much going on. They were just laying out the HDPE. So we thought <clears throat> we'd head right to the office. Midwest Mall headquarters, Greenfield, Indiana. We drove over here from west of town, stopped by the local Mexican restaurant, Chipotle, to grab some lunch, and now we're ready to dive in here at the office. I freaking love visiting this place as well. The unique thing about Trenchless, and about Midwest Mall especially, every job is completely different. Every job, 
different ground conditions, different distances, different diameters. So every job essentially needs completely different equipment. It's not that you just buy an excavator and an excavator can dig a trench one day and hog dirt the next day. That's not how this works. They need to fabricate essentially every piece of equipment they use on every job. So they have a massive shop. Uh, they have all sorts of fun stuff in their yard that they pull from any day of the week. And they're, they're really damn talented at fabricating machines from scratch. So we're gonna walk through their shop, check out the truck shop, check out their fab shop, see what's going on in there. I'm sure there'll be something fun. Uh, once we're done here, we head to Chicago to see some demolition. So let's go check out what they got in here.